This is an IELTS Energy Podcast, episode 66. Let's get real. Tough love for IELTS preparation. You are listening to the IELTS Energy Podcast from All Ears English. We believe in connection, not perfection. And we're here to show you how to get the score that you need on your next IELTS exam. Get started with our seven easy steps to a seven or higher at allearsenglish.com slash S-E-V-E-N. Now, let's get to the show. In today's IELTS Energy episode, we are going to kick you in the butt and show you how you can prepare well for the IELTS exam. You know you need to prepare for the IELTS, but you don't know what to do. You feel lost and confused. Guys, that's why we created our seven-step cheat sheet, the seven easy steps to a seven or higher on the IELTS. You can get it right now if you go to allearsenglish.com forward slash S-E-V-E-N. See you there. <laughs> hey, Jessica, how are you doing today? What's up? Good. I'm good. I'm I'm excited to be on the second video podcast. Just, just so our listeners know, we are experimenting with this. We are experimenting. It's a big experiment. Everything here at All Ears English is an experiment <laughs> in IELTS energy. And that's how we like to live, right? We want to just play, run little experiments and see what happens. Well, yeah, because we we love our job, we love Absolutely. what we're doing, and we are always trying to think of new things we can do for our listeners, new um, new ways we can get information out online. I mean, oh my gosh, there are just so many options with internet these days. Like, what are we have a, a blog on WordPress? Have a channel on YouTube? Have a you gotta have a Twitter <laughs> account? I don't know. There's just so anyway. <laughs> It's crazy. Just so our listeners know, Lindsay and I are working very hard to try every way to make our information more exciting and more available. More accessible, more <laughs> exciting, and more amazing. And so if you guys love video, you can come on over to YouTube and check out the IELTS Energy TV channel. But if you love podcasts, you can still hang out in the iTunes store. And IELTS Energy Podcast is not going anywhere. So yeah. Jessica, let's get to it. What have we got on tap for today? Yeah. Yeah. So, well, this connects to what we're doing in our lives. Okay. Yes. So we thought today, guys, we would talk about um, scheduling and time management. We get a lot of questions from listeners and mm -hmm. just sort of side notes, not really questions, but, but side notes as they're communicating with us saying like, Oh my gosh, there is so much to study. There is yeah. so much I have to do to prepare for this test. Mm -hmm. How can I fit it all in before my test date? Like yeah. how am I going to accomplish all of this? <laughs> yeah. And we understand because we feel overwhelmed too, right? Jessica, I mean, I, I know you have a child, you have a family, you have a busy life, you're teaching, you're doing the podcast, a lot of things. And I also have a lot of work to do. You know, I have a lot going on in my life and we try yeah. to find a way. So let's see if we can give our listeners some examples or some ideas about how they can manage their time and get the score they need on the IELTS. I mean, what can we do? What do we need to think about? Um, well, we've talked a lot on the show about note taking. You and I are fans of making lists and, yes, you know, absolutely. setting setting yourself up um, as a schedule. So I think the first thing is to figure out your priorities, you know, totally. in but not just for IELTS. Because you need to fit IELTS into your life. You need to fit this practice into your life. So think about, okay, you only have like, what, two months to prepare, for example. In these next two months, are you willing to sacrifice an hour of sleep? Are you willing mm -hmm. just for two? It's only this short period of time, guys. And then after the test... Go back to sleeping in. Go totally. back to having a nice Partying, jog in the morning. Do. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, but what can you sort of give up? Because you really have to look at, you know, the time you have. How can you maximize it? So right. mm -hmm. like when when um last year, I remember I was teaching full time, but I had these books due. And so I would set my alarm for five o'clock in the morning. Ooh, so I'd wake up. Rise. And yeah. Okay. Oh gosh, it was terrible. And then I'd write for an hour and then I'd go make breakfast, wake up my son, 
go, you know, take care of him, go to work. And then after everyone was asleep at night, I would write for another hour. I like that. It's a good attitude. And I think the thing to do here is to focus on the why, right? Why are we doing this? Yeah. Again, it's not just as you said in your email earlier today, it's not just because we want to pass the exam, right? It's because we want to live that life that the exam will allow us to live, right? We want to move to a new country. Exactly. We want to get that awesome job as a doctor, as an engineer, right? We want to focus on that why. And that's what's going to get you out of bed at 5 a.m. in the mornings. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So yeah, you have to keep this bigger goal in mind to keep yourself motivated, you know? Um, like, I mean, willing to take sacrifice, like that sounds, that sounds harsh. Sacrificing is a, is a difficult <laughs> idea. Like it sounds really terrible, but if you, if you combine it with what are you going to get from this? What awesome things in your life are going to happen because you are willing to work hard right now? The vision, you know, the vision. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We need to be able to give something up today to get something tomorrow, right? Yeah, we have to exactly. be able to do that. We have to take that long term perspective, whether long term is 30 days or whether it's three months. Right. Long term exactly. perspective. OK, so priorities is the first suggestion, right? Yeah. Good. Yep. When you know the steps to take to prepare for your IELTS exam, all you have to do is put in the work. You don't have to guess if you're using the right materials or doing the right things. Guys, we can show you the seven easy steps to a seven or higher now for free. If you go to allearsenglish.com forward slash S-E-V-E-N and download our IELTS cheat sheet for free. See you there. What else can we do? I mean, what 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 are some other techniques or tactics that we can use, Jessica? What do you think? Yeah, well, you need to first of all um, choose a, a deadline. You need to have specific mm -hmm. deadlines for yourself. So the test, of course, is one deadline. But really, sit down and look at how many days you have to prepare and say, mm -hmm. okay. By, you know, in two weeks, that is my deadline for, um, for finishing the, all of the listening tests in this book. Or, yeah. you know, one month from now, I am going to be able to write both essays in less than an hour. Yeah. You know, choose goals and, and write them down and set yourself deadlines for each part of the test or else it becomes too big. Mm. You're just like, okay, I have to finish everything. That's a good point. That's <laughs> a really good months. point. Yeah. And we've talked about this a little bit in a previous episode where we used ourselves as an example, the mistake that we made when we made this course, we said, oh, we need to finish this course around March, April. But we didn't set yeah. mini deadlines. And so that's what we want to encourage our listeners to do. And that's also something that we could add to our course, Jessica, is creating those very specific kind of we have the daily plan, but we could set mm -hmm. more specific goals for each section. Sure. Yeah. yeah. So, we, so if you guys are working on your own without a course, we don't recommend it, but <laughs> If you are, you need to set those specific deadlines, the mini deadlines. Good. And also remember Parkinson's law. Your work will expand for the amount of time that you have. Right. So that's why those. So mini is that a good thing or a bad thing? I think it's a bad thing because think about this. Yeah. If, if I have eight hours in my work day and the only thing I need to do is you know, send an email. It'll take me all right. day. I'll sit down. I'll think, okay, this is what I want to <laughs> say in the email. This is how I'm going to say it. I should research this. Yeah. I should research that. So this is about being efficient, right? Getting it done because we have less time. So, you know, break up the time that you have. So for the listening test, you actually have a few days if you look at a 30 day study mm -hmm. plan, right? Mm -hmm. Rather than the yeah, whole time. So that makes sense. Yeah. Um, and I think on, on that note, you should also set like, boundaries for yourself, comfortable boundaries. So mm -hmm. you're not working for three hours a day on right. the, a reading skill that, you know, is wasting your time. So totally. um, don't don't take up too much time or waste your time doing the wrong things. So that's why like our course, for example, or uh, if you have access to another IELTS professional that can tell you the strategies, tell you exactly what to practice yes. and what resources you should use to improve your overall English so you're not wasting your time. I think that's one of the best things about our course is that roadmap that tells yeah. um, students exactly what to do with their one hour a day or two hours a day. Yeah, I think that's where it starts, right? It's the it's the 80-20 law. We need to make sure that we're doing the 20% of the activities that will create 80% of the 
results. And so from the beginning, you're doing the right things. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Anything else yeah. we want to throw out there for our listeners on time management? I mean, we just want to say that, you know, we know this is hard, right? This is difficult. We, we have for families, sure. we have jobs, and the test is coming. And so if you guys are feeling this pressure, we understand, right? I think if... Also, you have to uh, forgive yourself for being tired sometimes also. You mm. know, don't be too tough on yourself and don't punish yourself if you feel exhausted at the end of the day. Maybe today was particularly difficult. Maybe, you know, it, your son got sick and you had to go pick him up from school and you had, I don't know, like so much stuff can happen that it's it's okay if for one day you're like, you know what? I am going to give myself tonight to relax and not work on IELTS. Yeah. And that, yeah. Is, and you must be okay with that because your mind has to be healthy so you can tackle it the next day. Totally. So don't feel guilty about feel guilty. giving yourself a day off, you know, completely give yourself a day off. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about English for the whole day. And then the next day, come back to it with a fresh mind. Exactly. I like that. I mean, I know that when I take a day off and I go climb a mountain or get out into nature, I feel good the next day. I feel energized mm -hmm. and I'm ready to go if I've been completely away from my work. And and one last point I want to make is that if you guys are feeling this stress, don't spend the time thinking about the stress, talking about the right. stress and ruminating in that. Right. You want to go out instead and use that time to get to work. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Don't like sit on your couch with your head in your hands and think, oh, my God, how can I do this? So that's a waste of time. That is not okay, going to help you on the test. Instead, just just get up, go for a walk. Put your earbuds in your ears, listen to a podcast, you know, like that's going to improve your listening skills. So totally. do that for 20 minutes and then come back, take a break and then read the newspaper for 20 minutes. Yeah. You know, like yeah. just control your time, mm -hmm. be efficient and be be positive about it. Yeah, don't get pulled into that downward spiral, right? I hear a lot it's of people. It's easy to do, yeah. Yeah, I think a lot of people spend a lot of time thinking about, I need to improve my English, I need to improve my English. Right. But you could be spending the time that you're talking about the fact that your English isn't good actually improving <laughs> your English. So this, so this is a little bit of tough love here because yeah. we want to push you guys too. We're not just for edutainment. We also want to motivate you guys and push you and because yeah. we know that you guys can do it. Right. Exactly. But it's, you know, I think a lot of students are or not. A, well, a lot of students are looking for some magic key that they can just yeah. like yeah. take away and just solves their vocabulary problem or whatever yeah. in like a second. But, you know, it, it it's hard work. Absolutely. Language is hard work. So Lindsay and I are here to be honest with you guys about the fact of this is the work you have to do. Yeah. But we're also here to help you guys not waste your time. Exactly. So I just I want you guys to believe us that we are <laughs> giving you the best advice and just go for it. Tackle these activities, tackle this practice, and and your confidence is going to increase because you're doing something about your improving yourself. Exactly. And it won't last forever. If you do the right things at the right time, you'll get through this difficult time in your life and you will pass this exam and you'll move on exactly. to live the rest of your life. <laughs> and never have to think about IELTS again. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> Okay. Wow. Well, oh, this, this was is, a this was a tough episode. This was a kick in the butt episode, Jessica. Yeah. But I think it has been good, and we would love <laughs> to hear from you guys. So come back to IELTS dot and let us know what you thought about today's episode. Give us your thoughts on time management and how it's going for you in terms of yeah. planning out your life and your IELTS preparation plan. So awesome. let's wrap it up for today, Jessica. Thanks for hanging out. This has been fun. Sounds good. My <laughs> pleasure, Lindsay. Have a good day. All right. Bye. Bye. Thanks so much for listening to the IELTS Energy Podcast from All Ears English. And if you want to get tips from Lindsay and Jessica every week on how to get a seven on your next IELTS exam, be sure to subscribe to our podcast on your computer or on your smartphone. Thanks again and see you soon.